Here we are again with Coach Dan Puckhaber with the football team, another weekly interview session. Coach, end of the regular season's upon us, potentially a 9-1 and one record. What do the Saints need to do to get into the NCAA tournament? Well, I think uh, the first thing is is that we got to take care of Saturday. Uh, WPI is a really good football team. Traveling on the road, it's a tough place to play. So we got to put ourselves with that 9-1 and one record. Um, and then we need, uh, we need some help elsewhere um, because uh, we don't qualify for the automatic bid currently. It belongs to uh, Hobart. Um, they have to beat Rochester this week to keep it. Um, that means we're waiting. We got our playoff hopes in the hands of everybody else. Um, they're going to have to look at our record at what it is. It's a nine, hopefully a 9-1 team. Um, shut up four opponents. We've outscored most teams. I think right now we're about 280 to 60-something. Um, so hopefully they look at that and say it's a quality football team that deserves a chance to continue to, to play on. Sean Richardson, career high for passing yards last week. He also set a new school record for total offense in the season. Tell us a little bit about the impact of the first year starting quarterback. Sean's been unbelievable. Uh, I mean, you just look at the, the offense change for him uh, compared to what we did with Mike last year. Uh, and then he's been able to grow and just make some things happen that um, you don't really see too often at this level. Uh, he can make defensive linemen miss when you think they got them dead to rights. And then when he does get outside, he has the, the, the wherewithal to be looking downfield, find the receiver, kind of like that scramble drill. Uh, it's kind of Manziel-esque almost at times. Um, he makes a lot of big time throws. Uh, the triple option part of, of the zone read, being able to get the ball out late to the screens has been enormous for him. Um, and then just being a, a really big athlete um, has helped him out tremendously this year. Uh, and he's just growing every week. Every week he seems to be getting better and better. Another player that's really stood out, Austin Loricella. He was recognized as a special teams player of the week by the Liberty League. How important has he been to that special teams unit? I mean, uh, with the way our defense was playing this year, Austin's main role in special teams uh, coming into this year is kickoff return. Um, and then we didn't really have a, a true punter this year, so we had him try out. We wanted to put an athlete back there, and we found out he's pretty good at it. Um, I think currently he's, got, he's leading the league with 18 punts down inside the 20. So we're consistently winning the field position battle, putting teams uh, backed up, which is always a, a great help for a football team when you're able to do that to your opponent. Uh, but then he's on the other two special teams. He's on our punt return team. Uh, he's on our kickoff team. Like He's just a guy that's on every unit. He's making lots of plays. Um, he's had two huge returns the last two weeks. Uh, and he's just a guy that when we go out, we put him out there, we know he's going to do the right thing. And he's probably going to do it at a ridiculously high level. Talked a little bit about WPI, our last game of the season. They come in at six and three, three and three in the Liberty League. All three of those losses by less than five yeah. points. What can you expect from that WPI team this weekend? They're a really good football team. Um, they have some really good defensive players, specifically on the defensive line and linebackers. Um, they got some guys that can cover. Um, they got an offense that does a lot. A lot of different formations, a lot of different people catching passes. I think they got two receivers that are going to be really hard for us to match up with. Um, they were able to put a backup quarterback in last week and still score 37 points or whatever it was to beat Rochester. Um, so it just shows them that there's a, they got a really sound system going on there. Uh, that they're able to change the trigger man and still have the production that they want to have. Um, but like anything else, it's a game that's going to come down to is who's going to make more plays. And uh, that's kind of what happened last week. So we, we got to hopefully go in this weekend and we do our job and we make more plays than them and we come out victorious. Last weekend, we saw a boatload of seniors honored before the game. It kind of begs the question, how's recruiting going for next year and how do you replace a talent? Lost to graduation. Oh, I mean, it's a, it was a great class. I mean, it was 26 seniors we recognized last week. 24 were still playing. Two of them were sticking around helping coaching just because they love the sport so much. Um, but it was that class uh, really transitioned this program uh, into where we're at right now, going into possibility of being a 9 1 season. Um, recruiting's going well. We got a lot of, uh, of feedback, we got a lot of correspondence going on. Um, the staff's been pushing really hard. We got some in the boat right now, I guess, to replace the guys that are that are leaving. Um, but at the end of the day, we have a lot of talented players that are going to be left on campus that are making some plays. We look at Sean Richardson's a junior, Vinny Ferraro's a junior, Pat Bryant's a junior, Skyler Williamson's a junior. So you have the next wave of guys that are going to be the guys, uh, and that's college football. Uh, you only get them for four years. Uh, use them as much as you can. 
Um, but then at the end of the day, it's time for them to move on with their life. And you look at this senior class, they did so much for this program, so much for the school, so much for me personally, um, that I really just want to send them out the right way with, with, a, with a nice victory on, on Saturday. Um, and then we'll see what happens from there. But uh, the recruiting is going strong. Pretty excited about it. And we we'll work with admissions and making sure we fill that boat back up. Thanks very much, Coach. Good luck this weekend, and we'll be watching that NCAA selection show on Sunday night. Thanks, Kelly.